welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're probably going to do uh, one of the shortest videos I'll, I'll ever do. Uh, we're going to make cucumbers in a sour cream sauce. Uh, another one of my favorites as a child and uh, I know my daughter, my oldest daughter loves these things also. As a matter of fact, she called me yesterday for the recipe and I said, I'm going to make the video tomorrow. So uh, to get started on this, I bought an eight ounce carton of sour cream and I'm gonna use half of it, so that's a half a cup. And I'm using the full thing, full, no, no light. And I'm gonna put this just right into the bowl that we're gonna serve it in. Um, to feed a family of like four or five, you may wanna go ahead and double this recipe. I wanted to save back some sour cream because I'm gonna make, make potatoes after a while. Into the sour cream, add three tablespoons white vinegar. One and a half to two tablespoons uh, chopped fresh dill. You can use more or less, depending on your liking. So uh, I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, the pepper's optional. I'm not gonna put too much, but maybe eighth of a teaspoon. So we're just gonna stir this up, uh, get a nice liquid. And then um, last ingredient for the sauce is one tablespoon of sugar. Usually I'll put less sugar in recipes, but I love this one really sweet to offset the tartness of the vinegar. Okay, we've got that mixed. We've got the um, sugar melted in good. I better mix this quickly before Catherine eats all the cucumbers. <laughs> so I've got almost a pound of um, the smaller pickling cucumbers. These are about five inches in length, and these are definitely better to use than the big cucumbers with the you know the wax all over them. These are uh, a lot more cr crispier. Uh, yeah, let's put them on. These were, I think they were about five, five cucumbers. And now I've got a small onion that I've cut thin slices and then I've cut into fourths because I don't, I don't want the, the big round circles. A lot of people leave the big round circles in. I, I like them in fourths. And it looks like I should have used a bigger bowl. So I want to transfer this to a bigger bowl. All right, we'll move this to a bigger bowl so I can stir it up better. And this is one of those recipes that you can, um, you know, it's all to your taste. If you want more onion, if you want more vinegar, you just kind of have to taste it and what works best for you. What I like about this is if you, um, as you eat this and you have no more cucumbers left, you can always just add, slice more cucumbers and put it back in and use the sauce till it's all gone. Okay, I'm gonna just taste one of these. What you really wanna do is cover this, put it in the refrigerator for a couple of hours to get all these flavors to mix well. And let the cucumbers soak up the onion and the vinegar. Well, I can get a taste of this and see um, definitely uh, if I got enough sugar in there. Perfect. Catherine will not like this unless we want to show a funny picture of her going. Because <laughs> she doesn't like vinegar. You want to try it, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so we'll just let this um, 
We'll cover it, put it in the refrigerator. <clears throat> and we'll try it in a couple hours. Like I said, it's very quick and easy. Great summer salad, especially if you're growing fresh cucumbers like I used to do. So it's been a little less than two hours. It's probably best to leave this in for like three hours, but I'm really excited to try this. I haven't made this in so long. So I'm excited to try this. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Healthy. I imagine pretty low carb. Well, except for the sugar. Very good, quick, easy recipe. I love it. I got it all over. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over there.